Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim speaking on Friday the 1st of June. So we're halfway through the year and well, we're sitting there waiting for non-farm payrolls this morning. But before we worry about those, let's uh, have a look at the market. Let's look at the Euro dollar and well, it's uh, I still can see a bit of a bullish bias coming through this market. It's, uh, it's start looking on um, this weekly pivot, uh, weekly pivot, weekly but bar hasn't finished yet but it's looking like it could finish on a positive we have come back to this trend line it's um i was wondering whether we would have seen a bigger move down um down towards the 200 100 but it seems set settled where it is at the moment and that may be good enough now looking at where we are um on the dailies we have got the new monthly pivot coming in above, which is, can be a draw. Um, there's a number of factors that are coming in there. I was looking at the four alley, and I mean, all we got yesterday was a, a, a decent retrace in the end later in the day towards that uh, four alley uh, 21 moving average there, and it's taken a bounce off that. It's having a bit of a pullback since uh, through the Asian session, but still got the potential to push up. So I've still got a bit of a bias to the upside in this intermediate near term uh, time frame. Um, it's still got that potential. Of course, we've got non-farm payrolls out. We seems to seem to have got some sort of uh, agreement in Italy, but but that agreement could be uh, toxic going forward for the euro. Uh, we'll see. Uh, there's uh, still the, uh, there's a pro possibly a non a vote of non-confidence in the uh, Spanish Parliament today. I don't see that uh, having a great effect on the euro, but it, we, we, ne we never know. Of course, the tariffs are still bubbling around at the moment, um, and, and I'm forgetting all the Middle Eastern uh, th things going on, etc., because the tariffs are taking the headlines at the moment. Um, those tariffs may um, may have knock-on effect. We'll see. Uh, it, a lot of uh, economists believe it will be uh, pretty poor for the US actually because they get the worst steel out of it. One, they pay more for their steel. Um, they, they may have a few more steel workers working, but they have a lot less uh, production workers working is the general thought there. But anyway, um, we'll see what happens there. Um, but for now, non-farms today uh, that will most likely have the biggest effect. We'll see how we run this morning. I may, I may just be waiting for non-farm payrolls for, for a trade today. It's uh, Sometimes it just uh, doesn't, doesn't give us a lot uh, come through from the morning. Uh, that said, we've, we've taken an air kiss off the 60.50 here. It, uh, it may give us a little push, a little kicker of this morning, maybe back to the walls that weekly pivot. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but it's still, to me, it's still got a bit of a, as I say, a bullish bias on that to euro dollar for now. Cable. So cable's got a lesser, bu a less <laughs> bullish. <laughs> I mean, to me, it looks a bit more bearish, and for, for obvious reasons, although there is still the potential, of the monthly pivot, uh, the Brexit negotiations, etc., are not particularly. Uh, sweet and uh, there's well we'll see how things run with those but there's plenty of comments that are relatively negative it's not really helping it weekly wise i'll just come out here and i'll do this much more uh, formally on monday but uh, not a lot going on there really at the moment it may be grounding out a little a hammer for a for a low but uh, um, I'll come back to that. But for now, um, today we've got the manufacturing PMI out at 9.30, which could uh, give some volatility. Uh, looking, as I say, if it can get a, a bite and a, and, a, and a move up, we have got the potential of that uh, uh, monthly pivot. Now, yesterday we just saw it really rolling over, rolling over. It didn't really, uh, unlike the euro, where it found some support. It's, it's lacking the support. It's still looking to me, as I say, the iffy one. It's got a weekly pivot above and the monthly pivot. Any sort of uh, momentum this morning may drive it into that. Just be wary of the non-farms. And of course, the production figures coming out at 9.30 may, well, they may be the boost for it. Okay, let's have a look at a dollar yen. Dolly yen support still, as I said uh, a few days ago, off of last month's now uh, pivot. It's just running into this month's pivot, pretty much. Let's have a look on the four alleys. A bit short of it so far, but looking like it could continue. Broken the trend there um, through. Eventually managed to break up above that. Looking like it may have some more legs to the upside at the moment, but. Uh, 
I guess when you come to the, looking at the 6200 where it's sitting with a monthly pivot may provide some resistance at that level um, so we'll, we'll see there's lots of risk on risk off <laughs> talk all around the markets again um, this could easily uh, reverse back south um, it looked bearish yesterday um, with this pattern coming in here I mean basically it's a bit of a wedge and a downward pattern you'd expect further downside but uh, as it happened it, it after the two o'clock bar there um, really that reversal back into the zone and really not giving us a lot of guidance uh, one thing whilst I'm uh, thinking about it and switching currencies, the euro dollar today, there's a big option expiry at 1.17, uh, which uh, may also cause it to stick a little bit this morning, we'll see. Um, now that comes in at 3 o'clock, which is after non-farm payroll, so I think they'll have a tight old uh, grip of that for a while this morning, but may struggle to hold it at non-farm payroll time. Anyway, moving on, Aussie dollar, um, not really giving me too much of a clue here, still moving in this relatively tight, slightly rain, uh, rising channel. Um, at the moment, pivot looks below, maybe may become the target, the near-term target is that uh, monthly pivot is, is hit the daily there already, any sell-off, uh, the the monthly pivot would be a reasonable target there and finally the Canadian dollar so Canada sort of hit with the uh, tariffs the uh, day before we saw some positive notes as the, 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 the central bank became more um, hawkish um, that was given up yesterday it won't be helped by the tariff situation um, strengthening against the US dollar at the moment uh, again got the monthly pivot below in this case so um, may just be a sufficient draw uh, to the downside there um, maybe got daily end monthly uh, pivot sitting below uh, which are untouched at the moment which uh, statistically they can get hit quite early uh, th the thing with the Canadian dollar it can do its own thing in the morning and it can be a bit unreliable we'll see but uh, there's there's a couple of targets to the downside um, so uh, that's pretty much it for today. We've got the uh, manufacturing PMI 9.30 today for the pound. G7 meetings all day long, so watch out for comments coming through from various members of central banks. The uh, average earnings, uh, 1.30 and non-farm payrolls, average earnings are the, the big factor there. Expected to tick up at 0.1. Um, and uh, ISM manufacturing at 3, so a bit of data later on as well. Have a great day. Bye for now. Thank you.